classical training from the age of five, Suzuki violin training, and I did all the chamber music, orchestral work, uh, solo classical violin repertoire, and that was really my first love. Cool. I would just say, don't be afraid to get off the docks. That's why I was doing the clapping, you know. Da da dee da, one, two, three. Da da dee da, you know, so that the long line comes through. Once I got into the jazz world, my idea was never that I would sort of turn my back on classical music, but it was really to, to determine a, a specific direction that I could go in, you know. And that's what I've done for the last uh, 20 years. I've really made my name in the jazz industry. But I continue to love classical music. So one thing he's done is developed the, the violin as a harmonic instrument. Usually you think of the violin as a melodic instrument, single line instrument, but he's playing chords the way like Wes Montgomery would play chords or somebody else. But again, the chords in the violin are different from the chords in the guitar. So it has, gives it a really distinctive sort of, sort of sound, the way he deals with the double stops. And he also does some of the things, interesting things you can do with sound. I'll be at um, several middle schools, high schools, and university programs this coming week in uh, Tucson and Phoenix. And throughout this coming year, I'll be at over 60 high schools and middle school programs. This type of program really blending you know, improvisation and different styles of music with an orchestral setting is, is really something I want to do much more of. And over the last uh, several years, uh, there's been various types of projects that I've participated in that, that crossed over into the orchestral realm. Really my job as a violinist was to be a part of all kinds of projects just across the map from the most avant-garde projects to really traditional jazz, to you know, really anything you can think of. This is really where I see myself going in the next 20 years, doing more with orchestras, pops orchestras. It could be more crossover, it could be very straight ahead jazz. that I wrote for my, uh, my first violin teacher. Her name's Ginny Christofferson, and she started a Suzuki violin program in Columbus, Ohio in uh, 1976. She was one of the first uh, people to bring this uh, Japanese um, educational philosophy over to the United States. And there are a lot of different philosophies for teaching music. But one of the great things that Suzuki talks about that I think we can all agree upon is that music education is a, is a really valuable thing for young people and that it's important to start people very young. You know, having an orchestral training and then going into the field of not only jazz but playing a lot of different styles of music and creating my own music, um, it's given me a deeper sense of fulfillment as a musician. To be able to do so many different things and be able to sort of um, put my stamp on things and have people you know hear a recording and say oh I know that sound that's Christian Howes that sounds like a piece he wrote that sounds like uh, an improvisation that, that is characteristic of his voice that's one of the rewards of, of being a jazz musician is that you're not only a performer but you're also a composer and, you know an interpreter a really creative interpreter <laughs>
And Chris, thank you for playing with us. Thank you for playing with us.